No. So guys, we're going to have a walk through the shop just to give you a quick look at some of the other stuff that's come in because there's been quite a bit of uh, restock and things like that. And this is true for all three stores. So if you're at Box Hill Way, drop in and see them. Dandenong has got some stuff out there too, but also don't forget our online. So let's have a look. So what have we got? As I said to you before, when I was showing you, if you saw the article on the Mustang, We've also had a lot of other stuff in from Models Fit. Now they also look after uh, A&A &A models, Sova M, uh, so there's things like that. Now, this is the other one that everybody's been waiting for. This is the 70 second scale uh, Beach, Beechcraft 350 Super King Air, which Australia does fly. We've got quite a few of them here in Australia, flown by the RAF and I believe the Flying Doctors as well. So that's pretty cool. We've got Mirages. Uh, from them as well, uh, we've got 70 second scale must. Uh, sorry, 70 second scale 109 on floats. This is uh, the kit. This is the airplane that was supposed to be in co in uh, competition to the Sky Raider, but the Sky Raider won out. But the mall is around. That's been quite. That's an interesting airplane. We've also got from them from AA models 109Z 48 scale. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's the twin Mustang I was talking about in the video before. This is the EH. They've done the G, so this is the early mark. Now for something completely weird. This is the 88A14 float plane version, so these big pontoons underneath it. But they also do the BAA14 on wheels. Weirdest looking things in the world. Highly unusual. Both 70 second scale, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, don't forget, we're still taking uh, pre-orders for this. This is actually due in the next week or so. So, um, and, then, and it's been going very, very well. So keep an eye out on that. Mini Art, we've had a stack of stuff from Mini Art. There's buildings, bookshelves for your dioramas. This is the new series they're doing in 48 scale subjects. So this is Allied Jerry Cans. So if you're building the Tamiya stuff or uh, any other 48 scale, even aircraft and things like that, this is all sorts of bits and pieces, Jerry Cans and funnels and tin can um, fuel cans and things like that. So there's, there's quite a bit in that. That's quite a good one. Uh, various vehicles. There's a, the German 75 Pack 40. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, the construction set. So this has got all sorts of um, boxes and materials and bricks and trolleys and ladders. So that's nice. Armor-wise, this is their oh, T3485 with D5T which I'm not quite sure what that is, but I'm sure the armor modelers will know. Plant 11 spring 1944. This one's got the interior, so it's 35th scale, quite a heavy unit, and it comes as it comes with the interior in it. There you go, there's some details on the side there. So that's quite nice. Uh, we've also got the trucks. Some more Stugs, there's about four or five different Stugs in the series. This is, uh, this is the Winter Ketten one, so that's pretty good. Doesn't come with interior for this one, but, um, I think the, one of the other ones does. So there's that one. There's also the one behind it there. So that's pretty cool. We've had some more Andy's Hobby stuff come in. That's the Tiger. We've got some more of the Shermans and things like that. We've still got a couple left of the big A20G. So if you're looking for one of them. Bits of uh, uh, Rifle models came back in, which we've been sort of looking for for a little while. So if you're looking to chase up some of them, the two, that's the Leopard. That's the Stug 3G again. Uh, lots of TACOM, it's been quite a bit of TACOM come back in, so there's been a bit of that. Uh, we've also had some Fist of War stuff come back in. These are the, um, the uh, odd stuff from Model Collect. So that's 35th scale as well, so these, these ones. 35th, 35th, there's a couple more there, different ones. This is their 46th scale armor, 1946 scale stuff armor, so there's the Panzer, whatever. So there's that sort of stuff come back in. Uh, lots of mini art, lots of the figure sets, lots of the, as I said before, lots of restock, lots of the vehicles and things like that. A lot of their buildings are not available at the present time, so if you're looking for them, unfortunately, they aren't doing them that currently. If you remember our video from the show, and you saw the big tank, and I said to you that's 70 seconds car, it's come back into stock. So there you go. It's huge. The whole box. So it's pretty cool. So there you go. Something different. Um, what else have we had in uh, all these? In 70 second scale, the Fist of War stuff as well. So there's that one. So there's a couple of them. As I said, lots of restocks of all sorts of things. 
Uh, as I said, Mini Art was the big one. Uh, AFE Club had a lot of them come back in. Uh, Meng, restocks from the Meng, series, Meng stuff as well. So there's been a lot of that. Bit of Trumpeter. Things through there, come down through here. This is all the aviation, oh, this is 70 seconds of aviation and all that sort of stuff. Uh, not so much coming from them. A little bit of restock from the, the B-52s and stuff like that. What has come in in 48, that's the, must, that's the uh, models with Mustangs I was talking about, so they've come in. Uh, Kinetic, now Kinetic we've had a lot. I've showed you the Mirage, but we've had lots of restock from them. Uh, some of the newer stuff, this is the new F-16. This is an F-16C block 25 and 42. So that's, that's really, really nice. Mirage is back in stock. Uh, AV-8s, F-16 EFs. So there's quite a bit of kinetic stuff has come in. This is all the, the different, oh, this is one of the new ones. This is the RAF F-18A with the Romero markings. So uh, if you're chasing up one of them for the markings, that's quite nice. It's 48 scale, so that's pretty cool. As I said, not a great deal in aviation at the moment, but we've got a lot of bits and pieces coming. Uh, restocks of Tamir, of course, we've had, things like that. Airfix, we're waiting on various things from them. Uh, there's a, I think there's a bunch of stuff due September, October. We should be seeing it. If you're waiting for the gannet, you're going to be waiting till about November, I believe it's due out. Whether we get it in November, I'm not sure, but it won't be too far after that, hopefully. So coming around here, here's all our sci-fi and there's all sorts of things in there, bits and pieces. Uh, for the Gundam people, we've had a bit of a restock from that, but it has been going well. This is all sci-fi again. I love this kit. That's Grogu. There's actually two kits in there, which is very cool. Um, lots of restock of AMT and Revell car kits. We've been getting uh, a better, better location, locality sources for that. So if you're sort of chasing some of the older ones, or even some of the newer ones that they're doing, a um, lot, lot better restock. There's the Revell cars as well. Um, from Mini Art, we've also been getting in a lot of the uh, modified trucks with the uh, tow truck and things like that, Italeri. Uh, Hasegawa, all that sort of stuff. So there's been quite a bit of uh, restock of all that sort of thing. Tamiya, of course, that's the Martini. We've had back in, uh, lots of bits and pieces up there, cars, motorbikes, sci-fi, more Gundam, uh, more ships. We've had restock from uh, both Aoshima and Tamiya, a bit more from Ming as well. Uh, what else have we had? Um, don't forget the Bristol Scout that's just come out from uh, Copper State. Really, really nice. Going well. So if you're chasing one of them, chase it up. That's the Helix from um, Trumpeter, the 35th scale one. Apparently very nice kit. Haven't done much with it, but apparently very, very nice. Still got stock of Zuki Mura's uh, BF109 G14. So if you're chasing one of them in 32nd scale. And we also just got restocks of Katara Spitfire um, Mark 1 mid, so we're expecting the other one in the near future. More uh, Hueys, uh, sorry, not Hueys, AH-64s, Apaches, uh, all sorts of bits and pieces up the top there, so there's a bit there. Guys, that's just a quick, very quick run through of what we've got in store. This is the CBD store, of course, Box Hill you've got as well. So drop in and see us. Um, jump online if you see something you want to order and get out to you. Uh, other than that, guys, have a great day. We'll talk again soon. See you then.